Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. Inkscape is a fantastic uh, graphics program, vector graphics program, but it's not a dynamic geometry package like uh, GeoGebra or Geometer Sketchpad. Those programs are great for showing uh, geomet geometry changes and how relationships are maintained and so forth, uh, but uh, they don't have uh, great control over the graphics and thicknesses of lines and things like that, so I still prefer Inkscape by a mile for uh, drawing diagrams for tests and publication. But here's one part of Inkscape that can act a bit like a geometry package. I'll just scroll up and with the Bezier pen tool I'll just click my way around a shape, click click. That'll do, I'll even give it a fill, Let's give it an orange fill. Select tool, then under path, path effects if you go down and click that and nothing appears to happen, it might be because the uh, dialog box is already over here. But if not, path effects, the box will come up. Click add a path effect and we look for mirror symmetry. It's highlighting the last one I used as I was practicing for this tutorial. So I'll click add and it uh, places um, two shapes mirrored but um, about the rightmost point of the uh, that shape, the first shape, the original is on the left. And I'll click Fuse Paths. Also, I like this Free from Reflection line. If I click that, you can see other options about page centers, but this is the most uh, interesting one, I think, Free from uh, Reflection line. Okay, now if I hit N for the Node tool, you see that the Reflection line appears, and I can sort of drag it around, and the Reflection relationship is maintained. I can even rotate it around and so forth. I can even change a point on one of the objects and uh, the reflection is updated. Even if I change the colour that's updated as well. Now I'll just show you what the Fuse Paths does. Again if I haven't got the mirror line there with the object selected in for the node tool and if I move this closer and closer see the objects actually fuse now. Or even there and I rotate the mirror line, the object section are fused together into one object. So that's what the fuse option does over here. If you wanted to, see if I uh, click that, I can't really ungroup it. Control Shift K, I can't break it apart. Control U, I can't ungroup it. It's just one object. If I click one, both change. But if I want to turn them into separate objects, and so that the relationship is broken down, it means if I change a point on one, the other won't. Uh, change correspondingly. If I go to path, object to path, now control shift K or if you can't remember that, path uh, break apart down here and you can see the two different objects now if I change the colour of one the other isn't updated, they're just uh, objects in their own right. But um, if you wanted to put the reflection line back of course you can perform the following construction you get the Bezier pen tool, B, just click and join corresponding uh, vertices, click click enter, and then with the select tool go up and rotate 90 degrees and there's your reflection line. Control drag one of the corners there and get that back. So a little bit of dynamic geometry within Inkscape. Thanks for watching.